Good morning. Thank you for joining us live here on India Today's social media handles. I'm Akshita Nandakopal back in the studios to get you a roundup of all the top stories that we're tracking this Tuesday morning. The big story that you will see across every national channel and in the papers today is going to be on Prime Minister's visit to the Pur to Purvanchal area of Uttar Pradesh today. He's going to be inaugurating the Purvanchal Expressway. Now, this is India's longest expressway, a very, very ambitious project. But of course, it has a lot of political significance as well the timing of this inauguration by the prime minister i'll get to that in just a bit i'll first tell you the details about the purvanchal expressway and what makes it so integral to india's infrastructure dreams what makes it so amazing it's as i mentioned india's longest expressway it covers about 340 to 341 kilometers uh, and there's one part of this entire expressway about three kilometer stretch which also can double up as an airstrip uh, it's a six lane expressway and this particular part the three kilometer stretch which i mentioned which doubles up as an airstrip is in sultanpur district that's where the prime minister will also be today and it's going to be a big photo op you know because you're going to see the prime minister touch down using that expressway as an airstrip he's going to be touching down in the iaf's super hercules that's the c-130j uh, it's a massive transport military aircraft so the messaging is very clear that this particular expressway which doubles up as an airstrip will ensure that not just fighter jets but even transport military aircraft like the super hercules can touch down there so the prime minister will be coming down in that iaf aircraft there's going to be an air show also along this particular strip and then you're having the prime minister addressing a public meeting this is essentially being done to ensure that you know we're prepared in any sort of emergency situation or wartime situation etc not the first of its kind really there are similar such expressways which can double up as airstrips across the country the Purvanchal expressway is the latest on that list but as I mentioned you know it's about connectivity and the fact that it connects parts of eastern Uttar Pradesh Delhi and CR parts of Bihar as well it improves connectivity in all of these areas uh, and uh, the reason it's politically significant is, of course, because you've got months to go for the Uttar Pradesh elections. The BJP has been putting forward a message uh, that, you know, they're focusing on Vikas, on development. And Purvanchal region is very, very important uh, for, of course, the BJP. Over 150 plus seats in this area, which are for grabs. The BJP has been eyeing this because if you look at really how the Prime Minister has been visiting Uttar Pradesh in the last few months. Most of his visits have been in the Purvanchal area. So he's directly involved in ensuring that the BJP has that outreach there with the people of the area. Uh, so it's very, very interesting to see the political significance of this particular visit as well. It's perhaps for that reason that you're also seeing a lot of politics. You know, the Samajwadi party is maintaining that this is our expressway this was our dream our project the reason for that is because it was first announced by the Akhilesh government executed by this government by the yogi government so this kind of a credit war is playing out amid which Akhilesh Yadav has also said uh, that quality has been compromised by the BJP uh, he's maintaining that you know this is uh, an expressway that was constructed super fast to ensure that it can be inaugurated before the elections by the prime minister and in the process quality has been compromised the BJP, of course, as expected, is rubbish to all of that. But you're seeing uh, the SP trying to say that, look, this was our dream. The BJP is trying to take credit for it. The BJP is saying we're the ones who ensured that it was executed. This entire project uh, has cost nearly 22,000 crore rupees. So that gives you a sense of the scale of the Purvanchal Expressway as well. Now, it's in the afternoon that we're expecting the Prime Minister will be there. As I mentioned, watch out for that photo up here on India today when the Prime Minister touches down in the C-130J, the Super Hercules, uh, in this particular three-kilometer stretch of the Purvanchal Expressway. What are the other top stories that we're tracking this morning? It's that time of the year where every single day we talk about the air pollution in the national capital. Unfortunately, it's another day where we all woke up, if you live in Delhi and surrounding areas, to a smoggy, smoggy day. The pollution levels at this point are in the very poor to severe category, depending on where you really live in Delhi and in Gurugram as well as Noida, which again has set off alarm bells ringing on why we need to address this crisis and why we can't just talk about it every single time it happens but have to think about it year round. The Supreme Court yesterday hearing this matter 
uh, lashed out at not just the Delhi government, but said that accountability must be kept with the center, with the Delhi government, the Haryana government, the Punjab government. Everyone must work together to find a solution. And there's no doubt that's the need of the hour. Today, the central government, after the Supreme Court's hearing yesterday, will actually be holding their emergency meeting where they're going to be discussing what really are the solutions that the governments can come together and work out, whether it's ensuring that stubble burning is immediately taken care of, vehicular pollution more is being done. Because remember, the Supreme Court yesterday even said that they are open to considering a lockdown in Delhi to ensure that pollution levels not just come down, but also to ensure that people are not really exposed to this kind of toxic air so that is something we'll be tracking of what really are the big takeaways from this crisis meet that the center will be chairing that the central government will be holding where all state governments will finally come together hopefully on one table and come up with a solution I also want to take you through a story that's trending on social media since yesterday. It's a controversy surrounding the movie Jai Beam. Uh, I'm not sure if you watched it. It, of course, has got rave reviews. It's a Tamil film that's also come out in Hindi and in other languages. It essentially talks about discrimination against uh, the Irular tribe. Now, the reason there's a controversy is because one community in Tamil Nadu, it's a very politically influential community called the Vaniyar community. The Vaniyar Sangam, which is a group that represents this community, they've sent across a legal notice to actor Surya, who is uh, playing the main character of uh, the uh, lawyer Chandru. And uh, as also someone who's made the film uh, and bankrolled it, they've gone ahead and sent a legal notice to him and Amazon saying that this defames the community at large. So they said that scenes that defame the community must be deleted. They've said that all objectionable scenes must be removed. They've sought an apology also a written apology so it will be interesting to see how that really plays out but what i can tell you is that on social media there's been huge buzz about this the hashtag of we stand with surya has been trending with many filmmakers directors many prominent personalities and several others coming out to say that we stand with surya for sending out a message about the kind of discrimination that happens against backward communities and that's what they're saying they're saying that you know this is an attempt to take away from these important issues from these core issues as well so that's been trending on social media and there's a huge debate over jb remember that there was also a controversy earlier over a scene in which actor prakash raj slapped someone in tamil the dialogue is speak in tamil uh, when he was speaking in hindi so they're saying that you know there was hindi hate being propagated that is something that there was clarification on as well uh, saying that it was you know misinterpreted by many to be as hindi hate but rather about the fact that the character was trying to hide by changing language so that is also another controversy that the film found itself in you can catch all the reactions that came in on that story the reactions of who really tweeted saying we stand with surya on india today as well the last story I want to tell you about is a very, very important one. The top international headline of the day, what everyone's talking about, is the bilateral meeting between US President Joe Biden and the Chinese President Xi Jinping. Now, it was a virtual bilateral meet and uh, you had a lot of discussion about how to take dialogue forward between US and China at a time when there has been a lot of tension in the air between the two countries. This is the first bilateral between Biden and Xi. Previously, they've spoken on the phone a couple of times since Biden took over as the US president. Uh, but essentially what was discussed, and uh, I'll just tell you about the statement that was issued. The US president mentioned in the conversation uh, that there must be guardrails to ensure that, you know, there is no open conflict that breaks out between US and China. Xi Jinping also on his part referred to Biden as an old friend and said that the conversation must keep going on between these two countries at a time when, of course, they've been facing off over a number of issues, not just economic issues, but also on uh, Taiwan, also on other issues like um, the COVID pandemic. So this is an important step. Uh, the takeaways of which is that both US and China have said that they're going to keep the dialogue doors open and ensure that there is a free flow of conversation that happens between the two countries to avoid any conflict. Those are all the top stories that we're tracking here on India Today this Tuesday morning. All the latest updates on those stories and much more you can always catch on our social media handles. For the moment, thank you so much for tuning in. Same time tomorrow, I'll be joining you.